Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to your 22nd Bootstrap 3 tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at badges. Alright then guys, so this is where we are so far with this little dummy website. Um, I have taken out a couple of links up in the header because I'm going to be working up here in this tutorial. I just wanted to make a little bit more room at this screen size so you can see it. Um, so yeah, I want you to let your imagination go absolutely wild here and just pretend that we've logged into this website so I no longer need this login button or this register button but instead I'm going to replace them with an inbox button and a notifications button, okay? Now, what I need to do first of all is comment these bad boys right out like that and I'm going to replace them with two more buttons so what I'll do is say button class equals, and I'm going to give them all the same classes essentially, button default and then navbar hyphen button and navbar right, just so they skew over to the right. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll just copy and paste this in fact <clears throat> down below. All right, now the first one is going to be inbox. And the second one is going to be notifications, like that. And in fact, what I'll do is just scoot that over like that so we can work down here. And do the same there. Perfect. All right, so now I'm going to use something. Oh, God, I've spelled default wrong. All right, that's a bit better. I'm going to use something called a badge here, all right, to display little icons next to the notifications to say how many uh, notifications you've got. You know, like uh, Facebook just has that little circle or something to say you've got five notifications or something. We're going to do exactly the same because after all, this is the next Facebook. But before I do that, I'm just going to give this first inbox one right here a style of margin left 10 pixels just to space it out a little bit like that. All right, and I'll just move this down here to make it look a bit better. So what we need to do to show that little icon right here is add a span or some other element with a class of badge. And this is what a badge is. I'll type it in first, then I'll go through it. So class equals badge. And then what we'll do is give this dude 20 notifications because it's super popular. Okay, so now... If we take a look at that, you can see we've got a little kind of badge right here to say that you've got 20 notifications. Now, I don't particularly like that black notification there. And if we wanted to, we could add a contextual class to this button to make it look a little bit different. For example, we could say, uh, instead of default, we could say button primary. Okay, and now this is gonna look white instead or we could say button error or something like that. Uh, no, sorry, not error, um, warning to make it look yellow or button danger to make it look red. And we can go through each one of those contextual classes to make it look a little bit differently, but it's always gonna be white on the background. Now, I like to color this a little bit differently. So what I'm gonna do is just override the style that Bootstrap provides us with. And I'm gonna say background I'm going to set this to a hex value, which is D9534F. And uh, basically, that's the kind of red that Bootstrap uses for the danger button, okay? But I want it on the actual um, badge itself. I've gone ahead and deleted that button default from here. So we'll put that back in. And there we go. So now we've got the notifications right there looking pretty cool, saying we've got 20 notifications. So that's what a badge is. Now I wanna show you one more thing, which is pretty similar. And uh, this is a label. And I'm gonna do a span next to inbox right here to say if we've got new messages or not. Okay, I'm not gonna say how many, I'm just gonna say if we've got new messages. So the class is gonna be label, like that. And I'm just gonna say, all in capitals in fact, new. All right, and uh, then what we want to do is give this a contextual class. So we'll say label hyphen, um, then we'll say danger. Like, oh God, we've done it all in capitals. Label hyphen danger, like that, okay? So now we get that kind of square effect to say we've got new messages. And I suppose it's not that 
much different from this thing over here. It's just that this has a less rounded effect on the edges. Okay, so there we go, guys. That's how we do um, labels and badges. All right, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to pop those down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.